everyone welcome to my nookery where all my where this is where I actually do all my knitting and my crocheting it's been a, a knitting week this week guys I've got quite a bit done um, it's a lovely um, autumnal day we've got blue skies a bit chilly Rick and I have been out for a nice walk this morning and um, yeah so I have got quite a bit of, uh, I haven't actually got any finished projects to share with you today. I've got a finished sock. <laughs> That's about it. But I've been working on, I've been working on um, some lovely projects, which I hope you think they are too. I'm nearly finished my friend's sweater. And that's one of the first whips. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got six whips to share with you today, guys. And I've got a couple of acquisitions to share at the end, too. Um, so the sweater. Um, I think you've all seen the pattern. But I can show you the pattern again, just in case we've got new subscribers who have come to join my um, YouTube family. So this is the sweater and um, everything I show you uh, and that or everything all the links will be in the description box below and I've used a puzzle uh, premier yarns puzzle in crossword I think it's called yes crossword so I'm on the last sleeve guys so this time next week this sweater will be finished so there we go I'm on the last sweater and I've done first sweater and I've done the back and the front let me just get them so that's the front and this is the back there we go so that's the back and the front so all I've got to do guys is finish the sleeve and then um, pick up round the neck and sew it together so I reckon by the end of by I hope by um, Wednesday of this week this will be done this will be done um, but we'll see so that's whip number one um, and um, I've had to, I did crochet with them it was given to me by Angela from my precious yarnery the yarn when we did a yarn swap and uh, I didn't enjoy crocheting with it but I must say it knits up really really nicely it doesn't split or anything and I found when I was crocheting with it it tended to split quite a bit so anyway uh, I'm really pleased and my friend is absolutely going to love it she's dead excited I spoke to her yesterday and she's very very excited the next thing I want to share with you is um, <laughs> the finished sock <laughs> so there we are I really like this pattern guys it's um, a James C. Brett yarn and I can't for the life of me think where I got it from but it's called Funny Feats and um, the shade why they don't give them a knock a, 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 um, a what's the name I would call that like um, gingerbread actually or um, autumn fall or something you know guys if you having trouble nay, giving yarn colours just contact me I can help you give yarn colours um, so this is shade number FZB04 and it is 400 meters 400 meters 436 yards it's a 50% superwash uh, super wash wool 25% polyamide but it's got 25% bambooing guys and this is beautiful to knit with so I finished that one and I've started the next one Yep, I started the next sock, guys. So I'm 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 knitting these when I'm travelling backwards and forwards to the hospital every day. So you never know; I might have a pair of socks to show you next week. So the next pair of oh, and this is in my um, 
Linda's Sip Socks in Progress. I got this off Etsy, I think. Um, there's no label in it of who did it, but it's a uh, natural con uh, cotton. But yeah, so it's... Um, and this is quite nice, it fits in my bag okay. Um, my knitting is in this, which I got from um, a charity shop here in the UK and I only paid £3.50 for it, so that's them. I put that up there because I want to take that with me when I go to hospital today. The next one, this I got from a Siobhan's Crafts. Uh, it's um, this bag and uh, I'm doing her My Knees Everyday Socks by Erica Lauder. This is on Ravelry and I do believe it's a free pattern. And um, I was knitting it last night while we were watching Harry Potter. And this is what I've done so far. That's what I've done so far. I did... I would have been further on guys but I'd made a mistake so I had to frog it. It wasn't that noticeable but for me it was and um, seeing as these are going to be my socks I wasn't having that. So I frogged it and I restarted it so I'm back to where I frogged to be honest and um, the yarn is I bought the yarn and bag together as a kit and the yarn is Queen Bee a um, hundred grams, four hundred meters, seventy-five percent superwash merino, and twenty-five percent nylon. Siobhan Crafts, and I'm hoping to see Siobhan again at um, Yarndale next Sunday. So, Rick's taking me to Yarndale to um, as a birthday celebration, guys. Because you know I record my podcast on Saturday, so week today is my birthday, guys. Yay! So the next thing I want to share with you, another whip, is this end of summer colour work hat by, um, it's by Let's Knit, uh, Justin Lukowska, um, she's part of Let's Knits. And um, I'm using ice yarn for this and I'm really, really liking it, guys. I've got, I think I've got 10 more rows to do and I start shaping for the hat, uh, for, the, for the crown. But can you see, as doesn't that look, let me just sort myself out. There we go. Can you see the colour work in that? I'm so proud of myself. It looks amazing looks for a moment I thought I'd made a mistake but no I've not you know when you just think you've made a mistake but yeah so I'm really really proud of that my first colour work apart from the sock I've not done a colour work and I'm using my ice yarns um, I've got, I would say they're gold and um, burgundy or um, it's uh, silk merino hand dyed, 80% um, superwash merino and 20% silk and it's beautiful to knit with guys, really is nice and um, we'll see, we'll see, so there we go see I'm so proud of that I do that as and when um, at the end of the day there's no rush and as they say Rome wasn't built in a day and I'm using my um, my lovely bag which I got from Tracy at Crafty Valentine and I'll put the link below so that's that bag the next thing I'm really proud of, yay! I've been knitting this Lenora. I've finally done the first 68 rows of the pattern, guys. So that's that. It's 
uh, wool elf designs and I do believe they're Austrian and um, so I've done the first, first 68 rows and there we go doesn't it look amazing and do you know what I like about this guys <laughs> there's no pearling there's no pearling so as you can see it's kind of like you decrease one end and you increase another so I'm really really liking it and I just do that as and when you know so I put stitch markers to denote the end of um, and I've got another another five more six five more pattern repeats which is five sixty eights that's going to be quite a big one what I think I might do is I might do five and see how big it is um, and that so you never know I might only do five but I thought it would be nice and it feels lovely and the yarn I'm using is actually that what came with the pattern I bought it as a kit uh, Ocean Breeze 80% uh, Merino 20% uh, Silk and there's um, 1200 meters in this and I'm using my bag with the bees on in purple from Gemma Bee Makes so and she's the lady I met uh, when I went to Leeds and a uh, very nice lady she was too so that's that one and the last one I'm really proud of what I've done with this this is my um, the Whitmore sweater by uh, Amy Loudon uh, tayloressstudio.com and um, I'm using the um, I'm using the grey and, and this is still I've got this much left of one of these so this is going to be for the the cuffs and the collar and this is the main body and I'm using monochrome cotton hand tatter by earth u-r-t-h and it's made in turkey and there's um 100 it's 100% mercerized cotton and it's so nice to knit with guys there's 275 yards on here so um so this is what i've done so far i'm nearly i've got i think i've got about Two. I've got five more rows and then I start um, I start um, dividing for the uh, the arms so I'm not sure if you can see the pattern very well let me just see if I can go underneath and you can see the pattern I really really like it if you can see the pattern I'm really really liking it and I'm liking the way it's not all I, I hope you can see can you see the different colors in there the, it's kind of like tonal i really like it and um, it does go over my head guys i hasten to add so i can't wait to finish them five rows and divide for the sleeve and then it's all stocking stitch so there i have done quite a bit this week this has been a predominant well it has been a knitting week guys I've not picked up my crochet hook at all um I'm really into my socks <laughs> really into my socks at the moment guys so I can see me continuing making socks next year as well um I've got some um I've got some ideas that I want to play around with as well um also um last saturday on the yarny fiber sisters i let everybody know that for the time being i am taking vacation from the yarny fiber sisters i haven't left i'm still very much working in the background with v and genie but i want to thank v and genie for letting me just take this break at this um 
this time uh, I, I really need it. I haven't got um, uh, Rick and I are in bed. Um, usually I'm an out owl but it's so tiring lately that we've been in bed at 10 o'clock of a night time which is not very much like me but hey ho. So uh, we're just so tired, so drained, so emotionally drained really guys at the moment so um yeah so now we're going to move on to our my acquisitions now i've been watching um fruity knitting mother and daughter and um i can't remember their names which is awful of me and um anyway i watched fruity knitting and both mother and daughter were knitting obviously knitters and let me just see if i can find the if if I've got the right, let me just see if I've got the right book to show you. All right. Uh, so let me just show you. So it's I've got two books. This is Divine by Kim Hargreaves. And it's book number 15 and the 16 designs. And there are all the designs in there. There's quite a few in there that I will well, that I will actually buy, uh, make. Um, but the daughter, she was making... Let me see. Let me see if I can find what the daughter was making. And it looks really nice. She made it... it you can make it into a dress or a... Um, a tank top and she did and look at that isn't that beautiful but there's something in this book that I want to do I've just seen it let me see if I can find it look at that guys isn't that sweater just beautiful absolutely gorgeous 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 design so there's that one and then I've got Rabbish, and this is book number 10, again by Kim Hargreaves. And they're all the, um, they're all the patterns. I will put the link below for these books and the sweater that the mum was making. Gosh, I'm so embarrassed that I can't remember the, the, the names this one oh, I just fell in love with this one where is it come on come on come on come on is this one yeah this one look at that sweater guys and I've ordered some red yarn to make this with so we'll see so we'll see so yeah so there's some really nice patterns in there for summer and you know winter and autumn so they're the two books that I've bought I should have said enable or relate and then the last thing that I want to share with you is my um my yarnable you know I've been getting this monthly well guys, I've stopped the subscription because I've actually found UK yarn dyers. It costs me the same amount for postage as it does for the yarn. Now if I buy the yarn here in the UK, I can buy two skeins and... Um, for the price that I'm paying for one skein and um and postage. So um although I you know I've enjoyed supporting my um the yarn dyes in America at the moment the postage is just ridiculous and I can't I can't continue doing that. So after going um I found some knitting podcasters and uh, here in the UK and uh, they opened my world for yarn dyers here in the UK so I've ordered um, quite a bit 
I've still got some to come from One Yarn Dyer here in the UK. I've ordered something from um, Europe. Um, and when that comes, I'll share that with you. But So let's open this. And I do believe this is September's, guys. So... see what we've got let's see what we've got so yeah so this is my yarnable for September and it's my last one as well so it comes in this little let's see what we've got I'll leave the yarn till last now you know we get a little Uh, organza bag filled with goodies so let's see what we've got today this month so you get you get a scratch card um, and you get you know with all information on and uh, did you know the first record of a Samoris is in the Girl Scout handbook trampling and trailing and goes all the way back to 1927 Laugh Some More Is Worry Less is brought to you by Bonfires, Toasted Marshmallows and your favourite cosy sweatshirt. So we've got Marsh Halos Mug Topper by Exo Marshmallow. Some More Is Dip Mix by SNS Disps. Some More Is Moisture Resistant Bag um, Manufactured for Yarnable. So let's see what we've got. Ooh. The mug topper that made us famous, like the pillow donuts, hug for a mug. Just set them on top of the cup of cocoa coffee and they'll melt. Oh, so that's to go on my, um, on a cocoa or oh, drinking chocolate. All oh, right, that's, that's edible. Let me to eat. What's this? Oh, this is saying. Um, SNS dips, artisan mix and creamed honey. Oh, oh right. Combine bag contents with eight ounces of cream cheese and eight ounces of whipped topping and blend together. Chill for two to three hours. Serve with animal or graham crackers. And then look at the bag. Oh my God, this is so cute. This is a deep. This is a dinky bag, guys. Oh my lord, look at that. That'll be a nice little sock bag or a notions bag. So you've got a pocket. And then you've got a zipper. This would be a nice notions bag, guys. Isn't that cute? So that's what I got in my little organza bag. Anything else? No, that's it. So I've got them three things with my yarnable. That's one side. And then let's and I like that the yarn comes in these little uh, cotton bags. Oh my lord. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. Laugh some more is worry less. Plush sock yarn. 85% superwash merino, 50% nylon, 300, uh, 437 yards, 100 grams. Look at that, guys. Oh, my Lord, I will love knitting that. I'm knitting a nice pair of socks with them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yay. Look. Isn't that lovely? Really, really nice. With the pops of pink and just reminds you of a bonfire or... A cup of um, hot chocolate with marshmallows on. Yeah, very, very nice. So, guys, that's all from me for this podcast. Um, I can't remember what podcast it is. I think it's number eight. If I'm wrong, it'll be in the uh, title. <laughs> I can't remember, guys. How bad is that? But I hope each and every one of you are well. 
and I hope that all um, for those of you who need hugs I send my lovely big squishy hugs to each and every one of you and uh, as I always say take care stay safe but more importantly guys be kind to you and until the next video bye bye for now bye